Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are back now for the second half of the build of the Lego The Disney Castle. And wow, if this has got so many bags, there are 34 bags in it, 4,000 pieces, and we are currently up to bag number 10. And we're going to meet the last of the minifigures. There are five minifigures in total, and Donald has been keenly awaiting us building his mate here because it's Daisy Duck. Here she is. There we go, they're thrilled to see each other. So now we've got all of the minifigures for this set all dressed up, all built, and ready to finish up the castle. Tinker, what are you doing? Tinkerbell's trying to do some magic and, ooh, it looks like it didn't work this time, Tinkerbell. Maybe you're not gonna be allowed to be so cheeky in this video, we will have to see. Maybe you'll have to keep your mischief down. <laughs> all right. Back to the build. We've done most of the facade of the first level on the outside and the inside, and we're now building the turrets and the tower that go on top of the first level. And they're actually an entirely removable piece in one big piece, well actually in two big pieces. <laughs> You're just gonna have to wait and see. But we're starting the ground floor of this and this has got a few rooms in it with lots and lots of interesting details. We are starting up with each of the Disney princesses rooms in here and there are distinguishing details, distinguishing features so we know exactly who belongs in each room. So at the moment we're doing the outside. Here's the inside and you can see one room over this side taking shape and here's a fireplace. You can even see the orange through there, the orange coals a little bit through the grill. <laughs> More on that later. We'll keep building up. There are so many beige pieces in this that I start to lose count of where things are supposed to go. We've put the first part of the windows in, the first windows with glass in them, in the whole set, so that's pretty exciting. Here's some more. So the design and the style of the second half of the castle, the top detachable piece, is different to the bottom. It's, uh, well, you'd, you'll just have to see. It's kind of like the frosting on the cake. <laughs> It's incredibly intricate and really, really fairy tale and gothic and romantic. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Okay, keep on building. So many walls. <laughs> now we're on the inside. Now we're back on the outside again. We've got to get all these walls up. Otherwise, of course, the castle will fall down without walls. More windows. Nice big window area there with some scroll work at the top. And here's the first of one of our details for the second room inside. Can you see what they're going to be? They're big hanging drapes, big curtains, very luxurious gold and royal blue curtains. And I've forgotten to put the flooring in, in here. It's gonna be really tricky with all the walls in. That's all right, I'll squeeze my fingers in. There we are, so lovely tiled mosaic for the floor of this room. Do you know who that room belongs to yet? There's sort of no distinguishing features yet. We will have to wait and see. I hope you are very patient. Some more of the detailing on the outside here of the castle. And some more walls. I'm trying to figure out which way around this one goes. There we go, figured it out. And a very nice little arch over our big window and a little pointy decorative spire to go on the top. That looks fantastic. Okay, first of our details inside. Four pieces is all it takes to make the enchanted rose in the glass vase here, or in the glass container, for Beauty and the Beast. So Belle has come over to take her place in here. She doesn't come in the sets. I've just moved some of the Disney princesses from my other sets in. In the other side is Cinderella's kitchen. There's a shovel here for getting all the ashes out. There's a pot currently simmering away in the fireplace. And there's a barrel with a sausage. Two sausages, I assume they're smoked sausages, otherwise they'd need to be refrigerated. <laughs> and a carrot. So the dry produce barrel. And now we have, oh, this is back in the Beauty and the Beast room. We have a little table with very luscious gold feet on it. And underneath the table, that is such a simple way to make a little desk drawer. So it's a writing desk and 
I know, Belle, it looks fantastic. And we're going to install it in the corner. But before we do that, it needs a character on it. Can you guess who this is going to be? It's a candlestick. It's a candelabra. <laughs> yes, there you are. It's Lumiere. Can we put your other little arm on? Lumiere the candlestick. He is going to go in the corner here. There we are. And there you are. That's enough in that room so that you know that that belongs to Beauty and the Beast. So the Beauty and the Beast room is done. Cinderella's kitchen gets an awful lot more detail though. So let's investigate here. Here's a frying pan, two frying pans stacked on top of each other and held in place by the top of the kitchen workbench. That gets installed in the corner. And there's a clip here for the broom. The broom's for, of course, for sweeping out all the cinders, which is where she got her name from, Cinderella. And there's a pumpkin. Ah, it's a Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> we need to put some internals in that. And we're going to tuck it in the corner without the, <laughs> without the Halloween face showing. Nobody would know that was there. So she needs the pumpkin, it's really important. Some kitchen utensils, a knife, carving knife and a cleaver, a nice big goblet and a cooking pot. Nice old fashioned cooking pot. That's great, Cinderella. You're in here in your ball gown, so you're just gonna have to be careful. Oh, did you seriously sit down in the soot in your ball gown? That was a really bad move. That's gonna make it very, very grubby. Okay, up here on a shelf, we've got some glass bottles. And this is interesting. I haven't seen the bottle tops being put in this way with this new piece. So that looks really cool. And another cup. Okay, Cinderella, can you please hop up, dust the back off. <laughs> no soot on your ball gown. <laughs> and here is the beast. He's come out of the Beauty and the Beast castle, which we built uh, a couple of months ago. So we're going to pop them in here. We're up to bag number 11. So let's see, what do we have now to do? Oh, we've got a lot to do. What am I saying? We're going to build up onto the next level for some more rooms. We're going to see who belongs in these rooms. But first up, we've got to build the facade out here. We've got to build in the fireplace, in the chimney place. And I need to figure out how these side bits go on. Some nice smoothing edges. And a lot of detail. And you can see where our chimney is. It's getting built out. And all those little white pieces are that are the bane of my existence. When we put the top on, they at least hang straight, so that's nice. They look great. They really do look good. More tops to the little tower there. And Belle's just popped up to have a look. And Cinderella. <laughs> they must have been tired down in their rooms down on the first floor. They're coming up to have a look at what the uh, what the sites are up here. Not much to see yet. <laughs> keep going, we'll keep building. See, I missed a whole piece out there, but that's okay. I've gone back and put it in, and now it's at the right level for all of these white pieces, white dangly pieces. And this is going to be a little decorative balconette up here. So when the princesses go for their morning amble up to take the air, they're not gonna to topple off the top of the castle, which is very important. <laughs> More little towers going on. Or are they turrets? They might be turrets. Okay, it's looking good on the inside. We still need to keep going on the outside though. We're creating a couple of rooms here with the archways as well. And I have put something in the wrong spot here because this doesn't quite fit. But I've figured it out. And we can continue on. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible when you get to the point and they don't line up. Okay, look, now at the top of the tower here and Rapunzel is peeking through the window. She doesn't come in the set either. <laughs> She's just come to check it out. But see, it was a perfect little tower window for Rapunzel, so we had to put her in there. See, there's our tower. It's actually the top of the chimney. And 
this is interesting we can't fit anybody in there so Rapunzel better not go in there she can hop over here and here we are back on the inside we are ready to well we're ready to decorate the next room which has got a barrel one bucket two buckets and a great big chest here which I can't get the lid on there we go into the chest goes a book of magic spells if I can get it shut there we are and the sorcerer's very distinguished cap so have you guessed what this room is for yes it is for Mickey when he is the sorcerer's apprentice and he is very mischievous and he decides to work magic when he shouldn't be and he makes the mops, mops and buckets all do his job and it never ends out well so here he is trying out one of the mops and one of the buckets <laughs> and the sorcerer's hat which does not fit on him at all which is such a shame that is such a big shame but oh, we might try it on Rapunzel instead there we are Rapunzel you can be the sorcerer now you, what you need to do is you need to tell Mickey that you're off for I don't know for some lunch and while you're doing that Mickey's gonna get up to all sorts of mischief with the spells uh, or, or maybe not that would be a really bad idea because we've got lots of building to do we don't want lots and lots of water slopping all over the place so I'll put the bucket back and we'll put <laughs> she likes that hat we'll put everyone down here so we can keep going and building the next piece of furniture which goes in the next teeny tiny room next to Mickey's now this very simple piece of furniture is also incredibly distinctive look at that already got the spindle on it the golden spindle should know that we shouldn't have golden spindles on spinning wheels of course it's gonna be magical and dangerous you should never touch it <laughs> okay so there's the spinning wheel and look at that there that's so simple and so effective it looks really really great and oh, look Here's Maleficent. She has turned up to check that her magic is about to take place because here comes Sleeping Beauty into. Oh no, she's pricked her finger on the spindle and she now has to sleep for a hundred years. And well, we might install the sleeping. The sleeping. We might install the spinning wheel while she's doing that. And she can sleep up here, which looks really, really uncomfortable. So there we are. <laughs> Once again, neither Maleficent or Sleeping Beauty come with this set <laughs> just brought them in okay bag number 13 actually no I'm wrong <laughs> bag number 12 it's a bit excited there more decorative castle to build and we will make some more rooms too to add some more princesses to We are back inside because we finished some of the outside of the castle and it's time to create the main bedroom so it is going to need a fancy schmancy bed and for that we need to make sure I put the pieces on in the right order <laughs> great start there Ellie let's keep <laughs> let's concentrate on the actual instructions would be very helpful they're very regal looking color scheme with the gold and the brown and a bit of purple down the bottom and the creamy silky whitey white and the coverlet is on now in goldy orange and we've got some gold braid along the top and a gold decoration and good and some very nice gold curl cues down the bottom there now this bed we might put sleeping beauty on here to sleep for her hundred years but she's way too long that's not going to be comfortable to sleep on for a hundred years maybe if you sleep diagonally there or you put one arm up over your head or I don't know 
we'll figure something out. So this is quite a short bed, it's obviously just for show, just for a display bed and not designed for princesses to sleep on it for a hundred years comfortably. I'm so sorry Sleeping Beauty, it's gonna have to do you for now. <laughs> because we've got, to get a go we've got to get on and build the rest of the castle. I like the outside of this room with all of the windows, however you're going to see that we won't actually be able to see through these windows soon because we're going to block them up with bricks, which is a bit of a shame. These bricks here, these lovely pink ones make some hangings for the bed. There we are, pink and orange. And it looks gorgeous from the inside, but oh, we can't see through the window anymore. We've just blocked up the windows. So basically the windows are just for show. Okay, let's move on to the other side now. See, can you see through those windows? You can't because all you can see is the back of the bricks. That's such a shame. Tinker's up here. Can you keep an eye on Tinkerbell, please? Make sure she doesn't get up to any mischief. And don't need her to interfere with my building. I'm having enough trouble as it is. <laughs> all of these bricks. So many instructions. I like this part. We've got lots and lots of little details to put on here. We need to finish up our pointy bits. That's their technical name, Pointy Bits. I have no idea what their technical name is, but here they come. I love these. And the top of that tower is complete. And now we need, this is my favorite tower here because it's got those ornate wrought iron look railings. I love them. We put our little white peaks on and that looks pointy and we're ready to move back down and have a look at one of the other details. This is a hidden detail that you don't know about unless you build it or unless you watch somebody make a video of it. So here we have made a glass slipper out of Lego. I'm not certain it's gonna fit Cinderella. What about Tinker? It does fit on Tinkerbell, but it doesn't look very comfortable. Well, high heels never are anyway. So we might just use it as a display shoe here in this glass container. Look. That's a glass display container for the glass slipper. Well, crystal slipper, I don't know, crystal display container for the glass slipper. And it's hidden in here, look at that. And also to keep it company is one of these fancy new books with its own printed cover with the castle on it, a once upon a time fairy tale book. Look at that, love these new book designs. And it's gonna be hidden in here, a little hidden area and we're going to make the tower top that goes on it and then no one will ever know it's in there. Shh, it's gonna be our secret. And there we are, look. We put the final touches on and if we move Cinderella out of the way, once this is on there, no one will know. It just looks like part of the design, part of the architecture. Now we're up to our empty bag number 13. I need to find where I put all those pieces. There they are. Oh, look, all the princesses are down in the kitchen having a bit of a, well, I don't know, maybe they got hungry. So they've all decided that they're going to congregate in the kitchen, which is where everyone always ends up because that's where the food is. So they might have a bit of a snack while we continue on here with our next part of the build. This is a really cool little hexagon base. Is it a hexagon base? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An octagon base. And it's an entire tower. This part that we're building now is also removable from the part we built before. So there are in, in total three pieces to this castle that we can stack like stacking blocks except much 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 more precious and you don't want to drop them after you've spent all that time building them <laughs> okay this is the feature if or the next special princess room or fairy tale room this one does not belong to a princess it does not belong to you aurora that's for sure it is the magic mirror mirror on the wall and we need to put some of the there we go round off the edges Ooh, look at that. And some very ornate work on the top and on the bottom. And there, now that's ready for the Witch Queen from the Snow White story. So we'll move it up here and we will install it up there. And no, it's not for you either, Bill. Seriously, this is, yes, no, it's not actually for Maleficent either. You're from the wrong story. You're gonna need to hop out as well. We don't actually have a Witch Queen or a Snow White minifigure or mini doll. So maybe we'll get one of them soon. 
That would be awesome. Okay, we're continuing up now on our little tower here. Well, big tower. This part here has stumped me. It doesn't go on properly. Having trouble with the orientation. It just is supposed to hang off. There we go. It does hang off the side. It looks so great, yet I couldn't figure it out. And some of these little shield shapes make a wonderful pattern around the external parts of the tower. There. And some more little pointy decorations. No one will ever be climbing this tower because they will get spiked to pieces. So I suppose it'd be a good castle defense, all those little spikes, as well as looking great. Now inside the Snow White, the, well, the Witch Queen room is the poisoned apple, the red poisoned apple to go with the magic mirror. And underneath is a big chest with Cinderella's things in it. So her scissors and her brush and this weird black piece, which is supposed to be the material that hangs out of the, hangs out of the chest. For when they've made her her well they've redone her mother's ball gown so would you like to have a look in there and just investigate what's in that big chest there and over here we've got some projectiles for this this is so we can actually have some well not very convincing fireworks but they're really pretty <laughs> but they do actually project well they fire from our little contraptions so we've built our fireworks there are two pieces of each so we got some spares because you know you're going to lose them. And when you click down on this mechanism here, they fire out. Thankfully, they don't go very far because they're pretty heavy for that small mechanism. And they don't explode up in the air and go woo, boing, bang, and make lots of colors. But well, the thought was nice. So there's the fireworks because <laughs> we need them because they're on the actual tower. Okay, bag number 14. This is the last building phase of the set. I'm very excited. We are almost there. <laughs> Though there are a lot of pieces still in this bag. So let's keep going. This is a very decorative top to the tower. The teeny tiny little room all the way up the top. The little turret off the side. Look at that, that looks marvellous. Now, hey, what are Donald and Daisy doing? Are they eating sausages? <laughs> they are eating sausages. Everyone gets hungry while they're waiting for the build. This is the very topmost spire on the topmost peak of the castle. So we're putting all these little gold dots on them. And we've got all four sides, so here we are. There. Now, we just need a whole heap more pointy bits. Pointy decorations. They've gone all out with pointy decorations on this top tower. And every single little dot here needs a pointy bit. There, that looks great. Oh, sorry, oh, Tinker, you can't land there. It's way, way too sharp. And another little tower, which I've just done wrong. Hold on, there, there we go. Tower top and wow that is super duper spiky up there and this gets installed up on here oh let's see there we go all right that's it now <laughs> we're just gonna put Rapunzel up here in the very top oh she fell out lucky we hadn't put it up to the top height yet so that's a tiny little spot which is just enough room for one little one little person to live up there and can everyone please hold their breath cross their fingers because we are about to pick this large piece up and install it and i didn't drop it hooray that's exciting i did drop daisy duck but she's okay okay so here we go no figures in here we're just having a look at the inside as it stands and doesn't it just look spectacular this is a marvelous castle it's just so ornate and I love the nod to all of the fairy tales that happen in each individual room inside and the detail is just monstrously incredible and we will spin it around so we can see the external facade of the castle which is as I've said before this is a replica of the Cinderella's castle that you see at the Walt Disney World Resort and it just well I'm just so glad to have completed it it's just magical so intricate and just gorgeous 
Here they are, the five minifigures that come with a set plus Cinderella because she can't <laughs> seem to be able to stay away. And they are so pleased to have the castle all built to live in. However, in the next video, I am going to populate this castle with all sorts of Disney characters. So make sure you join me for that one. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos get put up. Click like if you enjoy the videos, check out some of my other silly ones, and I'm going to see you with a new one really very, very soon.